Welcome back to season three of Trigger Effect. Well, Dean and myself, we just entered South Dakota. Uh, we got up early this morning, left, got across the border, had no troubles at all. We're on our way to Ringnecks Hunting Lodge in Presho, South Dakota. We're gonna be hunting pheasants, coyotes, and maybe some waterfall hunting while we're down here. So we're really looking forward to this trip. We just called the lodge. They're all set up for us. So we're just gonna make some miles. We've got about two hours left to go. We're gonna be there. They're looking forward to me coming. <laughs> Well, we've just arrived in Presho. Um, we've seen lots of game on our way here. We've seen mule deer, we've seen whitetail, we've seen lots of pheasants, sharptail, and there's a couple antelope right out here, and just on the outskirts of town here at Presho. So we're just gonna head up to the lodge, meet the boys, and get all settled in and get ready for our hunt in the morning. Well, we're heading out to our first location to do the first set on pheasant, and uh, this is something really new for both Kent and I. I, I mean, we've we've done upland game bird hunting, but in South Dakota here, they do it a whole different way, and, and we're pretty excited about it. But, uh, you know, it started off with the safety briefing, and then from there, we went into kind of the strategy of, you know, where everybody's gonna be located, camera location, stuff like that. And uh, I don't know about you, Kent, but I'm looking forward to this. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be an awesome hunt. I mean, Stefan has indicated uh, throughout all of our talks that these are wild birds and they've been hunted all season long so they flush very easy it's not going to be like a canned hunt where the birds get enough right at the end of your boot these birds are going to try and bust out and what he is really looking for is what he calls containment he has all the shooters all the pushers all the guides surround a field and contain those birds because if there's an opening that these pheasants can get out they will shoot out that opening and he doesn't want any leakage he wants it contained and then everybody can get in on a good shoot so this is going to be really cool it's really exciting we've never hunted this style before so we're really looking forward to it So what we're doing right now, we're on the setup we talked about this morning. We're getting everybody positioned to uh, contain these birds. We're going to be heading our lines right down here. And uh, according to the dog, this is the, the best line to be on, so... <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, we just had a, our first rooster bust out. Kind of cut over here from the left into the right, right in front of us, about 100 yards. Just got a hen, hen up. No shooting hens. Guides do a really good job for us to, you know, even though we may see or may not see what it is, they yell out pretty good, so. Let's start. <laughs> Woo! First rooster. All right, you're on the board. I'm on the board. Up ahead from both sides, hundreds of pheasants have went into the tall stuff. It's incredible. Population here is amazing. Oh, nice shot. That there was what you call a pheasant exploding. Amazing, you know, these birds or highs are maybe 12, 13 inches off the ground. Yet for some reason, inherently, they can figure out exactly where the holes are amongst the hunters. <laughs> and they take full advantage of it. Nice 
We got him, buddy. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah. Chief, shooting, you're just, you're well rounded there. Right. Well rounded. Guess there's one way to go here. <laughs> yeah. This week's Outfitter Profile. Welcome to Ringnecks Hunting Lodge. My name is Stefan Stanley, owner and operator. Um, my kids are fifth generation of Stanleys here in central South Dakota. My great grandfather homesteaded here over 100 years ago. And uh, since then, we've been farming and preserving the pheasant habitat here in central South Dakota. Our lodge is located in downtown Presho, just off Interstate 90, in the most dense pheasant population in the country. Um, the lodge is conveniently located in the downtown area where we have a grocery store across the street. We have uh, recreation uh, at the bowling alley and we have good dining and uh, nightlife as well here. We cater to a family friendly atmosphere as well as a corporate hunt. To, uh, we have many package options that include your hunting only with uh, professional guides and dogs to a turnkey operation where you show up with your license and uh, shotguns and we'll take care of you from there. We have uh, airport pickup and delivery as well as field to field transportation for you. Here comes the okay, here we go, bud. Right there. That's, that's, you can shoot that. It's a chicken right there. Shoot that. Shoot that. Well, that was a little unexpected. No, it hunt pheasant and knocked down a grouse. Boy, you're gonna have to tell me if something's coming from the right because I can't see a thing. Yeah, I did. He, yeah. I had to wait for it to clear the sun. I couldn't even see. That's a tough shot. I yeah, I, I had to trust you guys there because all I saw was sun. <laughs> and there was the bird. Shells. Oh, here. Wow. <laughs> here. 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 Leave it. Ah, good girl. Good girl. It's a nice bird. Look at the tail on that thing. Long shot. Long shot. Long tail. <laughs> Now the one thing I got to say on that last shot, shooting two and three quarter inch number six prairie shot, I know probably 50 yard shot and put the bird down a one so the kinetic energy and speed of these shells is incredible. Oh my god. Okay, you, you got it. Blake, you got to come up with an excuse there, like sun in the eyes or something. What the heck is that all about? Or see, your, your trigger finger sprained or something. So what do you think of that day? Well, that was pretty awesome, Dean. I mean, we got, what did we get, 35 we birds? Got 35 roosters in total. We had 15 shooters. Uh, I think we hit five different fields. Um, 
That was an incredible shoot. That, that was a lot of that fun. That was a lot of fun. I mean, I was cameraman today, but I was still having a ball. These birds are fast, they're wild. The biggest part of their hunt is they got to keep them contained because they'll squirt out any opening they, they can. I mean, this is not a canned hunt. This is fantastic shooting. This is great. Well, I got a bit of a kick out of it too because at the very last bird I got was one of the biggest roosters that was taken. But then on top of that, our guide Adam, he was more kicked up about the grouse, which was kind of funny. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. He's been waiting all year to have his new pup uh, handle a grouse and. The Trigger Effect team helped him out with that. So. Yeah, we did. So anyways, we got a big uh, shindig tonight in Presho, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you bet. We're going to be back with more pheasant action. This is the road that we come in on. We come in this direction. Uh, let's see, that makes this north. Uh, we come in over the hill here. It's this. Well, it's the morning of day two. We're just heading out to hit some of the hot spots that Stefan has uh, organized for us. We've got a fairly good sized group of hunters. We had an amazing day yesterday. We, we had some really good shoots, some really good pushes. So, really looking forward to today. The weather's perfect. There's no wind. It's sunny. It's not too hot, but it's nice and cool. It's going to be a great day of bird shoot. This is our first first push of the morning. We're gonna send the dogs into this about five acre slough. We've got it contained. That's one of the big things about these wild birds. You gotta keep them contained. So they're gonna be busting out all over the place. It's gonna be heavy duty action. You ready, Mia? Dogs are working some birds that dropped on the other side of the road right now. Got a couple shots off. I'm not sure if I hit that first bird or not, but we got gunner Jamie over here with the side by side. I think he's probably put the smack down on that one, but I might have might have blown some tail feathers off as it was folded. <laughs> well, that was a nice little push. I mean there's a lot of birds held up in that one little slough, but off to the next one. Go right here. Get that other hand. Hi, right, I'm trying. Mia's acting birdie. Rooster! Too low. Nice. No shot. No, I had a hunter right dead in line with that bird, and I also had Mia fairly close, so oh, Mia was right, was right under it. So that was a great call. No, I want to shoot pheasants, but I don't want to shoot dogs. So, rooster. Mia, how's it, girl? Boy, These birds are sure holding tight to this small cover. It's unbelievable. That rooster's totally surrounded and I mean less than an acre. I think this is push number four for today. It's nice open low grass. Looks pretty birdie. Rooster! Well, I tell you what, the way these the way these pheasants hold tight in this in this cover, I can see why they have to use dogs to flush them out. I mean, a lot of these pheasants are flushing right at our feet. I was over it. I was over it on both shots. Very nice, Adam. That's awesome. Well, uh, even the best laid plans sometimes fall apart. We had some guys that, uh, that didn't quite get into the proper position. We had a lot of birds blow out to the, 
to the uh, east on us and we're just changing it up a little bit. We're all getting reorganized. We're going to go through these coolies and see if we can't roust anything up. Welcome back to Trigger Effect. Okay, uh, we're going to take drivers. So everyone that's got a vehicle, come this way. The, one of the most memorable hunts of my life was this was this um, field we have called the church and it's a large cattail area. We get together and we're going at it. We got this thing surrounded. And and on the way down, um, I remember the leader of the group, I, he was just shaking his head like, there's nothing here. And the field before it, it was poor. So yeah. uh, morale was kind of, morale was could, I could just see it in his <laughs> face like. And then, all, and then all of a sudden dog went in there Boom, that thing lit up. 300 birds come, come out of there. Oh, that would have it was like insanity. See. That's good. Cool. Believe it. This last shoot we had here was really cool. It was a really small uh, cattail slough with a dam on the north end. We did a perfect job of containment. We send a few dogs in and we quickly close the noose on these birds. Every rooster that popped up, we got within our group. So it was a really, really good shoot. On to the next one. All right, it's the end of day two. We're two birds shy of a 45 bird limit. Stefan and the other guys just were fantastic today. Thank you, Stefan, for a wonderful day of pheasant shooting. You're welcome, and uh, thanks for coming out here. And my two groups today did a fabulous job of hunting. I'm ready for tomorrow. Right on. Let's go. I mean, we've collected a lot of birds and I'm talking way too long, I can tell, and we're gonna have to do another take. We have a 43 bird limit, or <laughs> five bird limit. Stefan, I wanna thank you very much for a fantastic day of pheasant shooting. You're welcome. I can't say I, uh, jeez. <laughs>